To test for a slap lesion, that's a superior labrum anterior posterior tear, i.e. a tear up here on the labrum, there's three tests that you can do. It's a difficult thing to diagnose, so they recommend that you do all three tests, and if all three tests are positive, then there's the possibility that there is a labrum tear. The first one is an anterior superior slide, so what you do is you just put a little bit of flexion into the elbow, hold the shoulder here, and what you're going to do is you're going to push using the elbow as a lever, anterior and superiorly, while the, the patient actually resists. So I'm pushing upwards and inwards, and the patient's resisting. And that's the first one, that's called the anterior slide. The second one is called the O'Brien test, and what you do for that is you do 90 degrees, 90, 90 degrees of flexion, 10 degrees of adduction, you then fully internally rotate and then what you do is you resist a further adduction and flexion from the patient so they adduct and flex and that's the second one and that's the O'Brien test and the third one is the crank test and for that we abduct 90 degrees and then using one hand we push in line with the humerus and what's it's called a crank test because it's an axial push, so it's into the shoulder there, and while we're doing that with this hand, what we do is we very gently internally rotate with this hand. And what we're looking for in any of these tests is for reproduction of the pain that the patient was experiencing, or pain here in this anterior superior um, element of the shoulder, so the bicipital type groove part of the shoulder, or any popping, clicking, grinding. So that's your three tests for a slap lesion.